the song Take My Breath Away, which was featured in the Top Gun film, is sung by a band called Berlin, which is funny because in Berlin at the weekend, hundreds of High Rocks athletes came together for a race and got themselves fully out of breath. And in fact, some of the athletes cruised to amazing performances that took my breath away. So High Rocks Berlin took place on the 5th of November 2022 and there were some very impressive performances all round. In the men's pro division, it was ultimately won by Michael Sandmatch in a time of 58.51. That's a PB for him. Second was Martin Michaelis in a time of 59.53. That's also a PB for him, I believe. And then Dieter Schwarzkopf finished in 59.59. So they're the third, eighth and ninth fastest times of the year so far in the men's pro division. And I might be wrong on this, but I think it's only the second time ever in High Rocks where all the podium spots have finished in under 60 minutes. Uh, it's a big win for Sandy, Michael Sandbach, off the back of his world record in the men's doubles a few weeks earlier in Amsterdam. Uh, his wife had a baby shortly after the World Championships in May, so I'd imagine there's been many, many sleepless nights in the months since then. To, to start the season like he has is very impressive. In the women's pro division, it was won by Yang Thompson in a time of 1.06.37. Yang is the women's doubles world record holder. Uh, she sent me her comments after the race, which you can see here. I'm super happy with the race. Uh, the sleds felt relatively easy. Um, I tried to push all the workouts to um, go all out there because I knew uh, Antje Hardes, who was right behind me the whole race, was a little faster in the run and she really chased me there. So I tried to get ahead of her in the workouts uh, so I could use that as an advantage. And it ended up being a super close battle at the wall boats. And um, it was such a good fight. So all the respect for her. Um, it was a fun race. Yeah. My next one will be in Hamburg doing doubles again with my doubles partner, Rafaela Stefek. And for the next year, for 2023, I don't have set plans yet. But um, the goal for the season is just enjoying every race and um, having fun with it. And Yahadis finished second in 107.06. That's another strong performance from her. She's already set a time of 105 this year, so this wasn't a PB, but it continues her strong start to the season. And she, at one point in the season, has also held the women's doubles world record, uh, but that was taken back off of her from, from Yang. So they've both had a good battle already so far this season and both started the season really strongly. And then third was Sabrina Rothig in 109.38. In the men's open, it was won by Christian Nold in the 58.05. That's actually the third best time ever in the men's open. So well done to him. Second was Jafar Mooman in 101.18. Uh, since doing these race reviews, I feel like his name comes up every weekend as being on the podium. So very impressive start to the season from him. And then third was Dirk Scholker in 101.25. In the women's open, Cindy Hacker won in 110.26. Second was Antje Tetzlaff in 111.48. And then third was Nina Schomacher in 112.20. In the mixed doubles, Simon Banwell and Devon Byrne won. They broke the 60 minute mark just about in 59.59. The men's doubles was won by Frederick Legatsky and Timo van der Meer in 58.03. And then the women's doubles was won by Lisa Richter and Anna Krebs in 104.24. If you did race in Berlin at the weekend, well done. You went out and did a hard thing at the weekend and that's something to be proud of. If you're listening to this on our podcast, then I'm sharing lots of photos of the race from Berlin on our YouTube channel as well. So go over and check that out when you can. Um, if you've not yet already subscribed to our YouTube channel and our podcast, please give us a like, share with your friends, check out the latest articles on rockslife.com and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks, take care.